I'm sure you can't see anything, but uh, we're camping on private property here. We couldn't get a hold of anybody. Um, but we just saw flashlights in the woods, so Pep is over there. He's going to try and talk to them. Day 60 or 61. We had a lot of rain last night. Now we gotta portage our stuff down this muddy bank. And try not to break our ankles. Okay, we're about 50 or 60 miles south of Memphis. And we're pissed off! <laughs> we're angry. <laughs> um, we noticed this morning, we're like, wow, we're hearing so many birds. It's so nice to wake up to that. Um, then we also realized that birds go hand in hand with bugs. We had so many bugs in our freaking tent last night. We had mosquitoes, um, all these weird little bugs that we don't know. And then this morning, we take while we were taking down the tent, we just had uh, spiders all over everything. So it's a bit of a double-edged sword, but um, at least it's warm out. Actually, it's, I don't want to complain too much here, but it's a little too warm for us. <laughs> We've been complaining about the cold for like friggin' three weeks. It's a little muggy, that's all I'm saying. All I'm asking is room temperature. Just, just room, room temperature. temperature. <laughs> so muddy, man. This guy bought white pants. Who buys white the only pants? Options. All they had at a hunting store, all they had is white pants. This guy's hunting polar bear out here in the deep south. <laughs> There's the rain. Also, right when we uh, took off, we saw some uh, some lightning, so we're gonna pull off right now. Too bad it didn't happen while we had our tent set up. This fog is uh, providing a new challenge. We can't really see the barges. We can hear one out there. Um, see if you can see him or hear him. I think he's in here somewhere. We'll see the waves though, that's for sure. Alright, that's the town of Helena West. It's kind of the last town on a, on this stretch. It's only 9.30 a.m. so we're gonna go right past it. Um, which is unfortunate because it's definitely gonna be pouring rain tonight and we have no idea where we're gonna stay. Um, but we're gonna roll the dice. Try and get some miles done. So here we are at uh, our campsite for the night. We can say that this is probably one of our best setups we've had. Uh, we we're kind of touch and go with whether we call it early today. So we got off the water about one o'clock because we had fog rolling in hard and then it would be able to see for a little while and then it would come in again. Um, we had a, some scary experiences with being able to hear barges but not being able to see where they are. Um, we had a wing dam experience where we kind of got spun around um, because we were hugging the left shore so much. Um, so we kind of weighed the pros and cons of like what we were able to do. Um, if we're able to kind of push on, maybe we get maybe 10, maybe 15 more miles if we pushed it right until dark. But um, we were kind of worried about the fog rolling in. Um, at this time, the fog was dying down. We made the decision that we're like, okay, let's just call it just so we have a good spot to call uh, home for tonight. I'm really happy we did because if you can see behind me, the fog is really, really heavy. So we would have been two miles down the way. Um, we would have seen a bunch of barges. 
Um, so this has been a good call. It's pretty hard for both of us to call an early night, especially because the last few days we haven't gotten huge miles in, but a good lesson learned that, you know, sometimes the harder thing to do is to call it earlier and that's what's going to be the safe call tonight. We're sitting here in our nifty little new tent. We call it the garage and we're cooking some corned beef hash. We didn't eat supper last night, so we're going to eat some corned beef hash and some potatoes, double up on our supper today. Day 63, the fog has us down, but not beaten. We had to have a late start because we couldn't see more than 30 meters, which is too dangerous for the barges. So we waited for it to burn off and it's our friend, the sun. We haven't seen him in like three days. So we're gonna push as much as we can today. It's gonna rain on us about three o'clock. So hopefully that weather changes too, but we'll see. Other than that, bananas for breakfast. Just got to Dennis Landing. Uh, the fog rolled in on us pretty hard um, on the last mile and a half. Um, we could hear the barges in the fog somewhere. We didn't know where they were. So we had to radio them with our marine radio. Um, and we kind of uh, got a little strategy with the, all the barges that were out here. <coughs> They had uh, pretty good communication. They were really good to us. Uh, they basically just said, all right, we're going to stay where we are. We'll let you guys, the canoe, go around us. Um, and so we did that. Now we're landed at Dennis Landing. Now we got to get all this stuff here. All the way up there. And it's pouring rain. And uh, we got about a half hour of daylight. So pretty soggy end of the day. But we're going to get in that tent as soon as we can here. Right, those lights that you see is uh, we think the owner of this property um, we had to come off the water because of the fog um, ended up setting up on private property we couldn't get a hold of anybody so we weren't sure what to do but so we set up our tent anyway and we'll see what they say I'm hearing some laughs over there I think he's uh, sweet talking these guys he just asked them if they knew Sheriff Lamb we kind of did a little bit of a you know Jim situation here so this is a you know gym, but in the south version. This is day three of straight on rain. Before that, we had intermittent rain, but it has not stopped raining for three full days. I think we got a couple more coming. Just brutal. Day 64, we're still in the fog. Um, pouring rain this morning. Our tent is absolutely soaked. Um, like the floor of the tent was drenched. So we're not sure what we're gonna do about that. We got more rain coming for the next couple days. So keep you posted. We had a surprise visit from our old friend, Mr. Sun. So now we pulled over to try and dry all our stuff. Trying to dry our ground sheet, our fly, and our tent. Because we're expecting another well, week of rain. stuff all our dry stuff so we're gonna be dry for another night on the next episode two Canadians come face to face with their first tornado we need to get to Vicksburg by t or Monday night because Tuesday is gonna be an insane storm they're talking like 50 mile an hour winds 25 mil of uh, rain uh, thunder and lightning so might be a zero in Vicksburg so today is really important that we